pick up this video, man, in the second round of this domination game because if I had the entire full round, full game, rounds one and two, it would just take way too long and this video would be like 15 minutes long and it doesn't need to really be that long. So what is going on YouTube, the assist man, I'm coming at you guys with a Black Ops 3 gameplay. And inside of this gameplay, like I said, man, I'm bringing you guys some domination gameplay on the map Nuketown. Pretty much the only map that I play because I really only play this game during the double XP weekends. And I have a lot of gameplay from the Nuketown thing, so yeah. But finish the first round 26 and 7, man. Hopefully we can go just as good in the second round. But the gameplay is just there for your entertainment viewing pleasures. Let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand. And that topic at hand, man, is going to be what really is good about Black Ops 3. Because, you know, I make a lot of videos complaining about the game and talking shit about the game, and I know that I do because it's true. And when something is bad, I'm gonna say it's bad. And when something is good, I'm gonna say it's good. I have plenty of videos talking about other games and other Call of Duties that are amazingly good games and amazingly good Call of Duties and amazingly good games that I give props to. But when there's bad games like Ghost, like Advanced Warfare, and like Black Ops 3, I need to call out the indifferences in those games and I need to call out what's bad about those games. So I do spend a lot of time talking shit about Black Ops 3. That's just because there's a lot of fucking issues with Black Ops 3. It's the truth. You guys know it as well as I do. But... I've been trying to figure out what's good about this game, really. And it's just been boggling my mind. I, I really can't figure out what's good about this game. Like, you know, I could look back at, you know, other Call of Duties and, you know, let's just say Modern Warfare 2, great gameplay, Black Ops 1, Black Ops, you know, 2, Modern Warfare 3, COD 4, like all the old original good Call of Duties always had a lot of good stuff about them. But when you come to a game like Black Ops 3, you know, I've played it quite a lot. I've been playing it quite a lot. And I try to figure out in this game, what's really so good about this game? Like, what is good about this game? Because all I can do most of the time is pinpoint and talk about all the bad things in the game because there are so many of them that I'm, maybe I personally overlook what's good about this game or I don't realize what's good about this game. Because when I, even thinking about it now, I can't really you know, comprehend what is really good in this game. Like, the zombies is good, but it's not. You know? Like, Shadows of Evil Zombies is, is a good map, but it just takes too damn long to do everything in that map. It takes too long to do all the rituals, to set up the pack-a-punch machine. It takes too long to ride the train and get the eggs and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a good, like, Shadows of Evil, the zombies mode in this game is good, but then again, it's like not. And then when I look at multiplayer, I try to look at what's good in this game. Because I don't think any of the guns are good. I think a lot of the guns in this game are unbalanced even after like 175 patches. And I don't think any of the maps are good in this game with the exception of like Nuketown. But it's not, it doesn't even belong to this game. Nuketown belongs to Black Ops 1. So I don't really think any of the maps in this game are like good. Like Combine is like, you know, a decently good map. But other than that, what, what really good maps are in this game? There's really, like I said, there's really no good guns in the game. Like, what is really good in this game? Like, the specialist abilities really don't need to be in this game. It's really a ripoff of Destiny. And they don't need to be in a Call of Duty game. It's just more overpowered bullshit. And if you want to keep it real, you know, specialist abilities are like death streaks. And nobody, nobody liked death streaks in the older Call of Duties. And that's why they removed them for years and years and years. You haven't seen death streaks in the game in forever. And that's pretty much and basically what specialist abilities are in in um, Black Ops 3, they're death streaks. And nobody likes death streaks. So I try to figure out what really is good about this game, because the specialists aren't good, the guns aren't good, the maps aren't good, the lag is garbage, the the gameplay mechanics of the game are bad, the double jumping exo wannabe suit sliding, flying in the air, wall running shit doesn't belong in a game called Call of Duty in my opinion. So the score streaks are garbage. I mean, we I've already covered that so many times. These score streaks are probably the worst score streaks that I've ever seen in any Call of Duty game. I, I don't, I can't really figure out, like, what is good about Black Ops 3? There's no clan wars. There's no way to make a clan. The arena mode, the league play system is just garbage as opposed to how it was in Black Ops 2 and Ghosts. Even Advanced Warfare had a better league play than, than Black Ops 3 does. So, I'm boggling, man. I'm really, my mind is boggled. I really don't know what is good 
about Black Ops 3. I can't figure out anything good about Black Ops 3 personally. So maybe, like I said, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm overlooking some of the good stuff in this game. And if I am, I want you guys to comment down below, man, and let me know what you think is good about Black Ops 3. What is good about Black Ops 3 that it's like makes it a good game? Well, it's not a good game, but some of you, some of you guys seem to think it's a good game. So what I'm asking you is, what do you think is so good about Black Ops 3? You know, like compared to games like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, MW2, MW3, COD4, you know, the original good Call of Duties. Is this game better than Advanced Warfare? Is it better than Ghost? Yes, in aspects, it definitely is. But I can't figure out anything good about Black Ops 3. Like, I just can't. So let me know what you guys think is good about Black Ops 3. Or maybe you guys are just like me and you don't really think that there's really anything in Black Ops 3 that is really like good. That was really like innovative or mind blowing or man, like you say to yourself, man, this is so awesome in this game. I can't wait to play it because of this. See, I can't think of any of that stuff in Black Ops 3. When I play Black Ops 3, I really don't have any fun and there's no enjoyment in it for me. And I find myself maybe turning it on, trying to play it. And then after like two or three games, I get so frustrated with all the bullshit in the game I just stop playing it and I move on to something else or I go do something else. So I can't find anything in the anything good in the game. So what really is good about Black Ops 3? I don't know. And if you guys think there's something good that I'm overlooking about the game, please let me know down in the comment section. So anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Let me know what you guys think. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up like button, man. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me, man, so they can view my videos. They can subscribe to my channel. And then you can help a brother out. Had a good game in Domination, man. I even had the game-winning kill cam in the first round and in the second round. So... All is all, all was good. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. I actually went 57 to 21 in this game. Lag was on my side. I must have been the host, or I was on the same team as the host. Because Lord knows, if you're not, you're never going to have a consistent gameplay in this game. So anyway, man, this is the Assist Man, YouTube, and like always, I am out.